We know the public guidelines for keeping safe from COVID-19 and in our Health Watch report, Local 3's Connie Fellman shows us how you can stop the spread in your home. Your home may feel like the safest place to be to prevent a COVID infection. But what happens if someone in your household tests positive? Researchers have found a quick, inexpensive way to reduce the infection from spreading to others in your home. We've seen the stories. One person gets COVID, then the entire household has it. But are there precautions that can reduce the spread of infection within the home? We found it was actually relatively simple to create a homemade isolation space that achieves the same differential pressure target that you might find in a hospital grade isolation space. They tested 17 different isolation room configurations to find the best way to reduce aerosol particles from spreading throughout the house. The best and most cost-effective configuration they found was using a bedroom with an attached bathroom. Seal off the heating and cooling ductwork going into the room. Keep the door to the bedroom closed. In the bathroom, run the exhaust fan. If the flows in the exhaust fans are not adequate, then uh, people can also use a portable window fan that could pull air from the isolation space to the outside. So how can you tell if a homemade isolation zone is working successfully? So if you put that tissue down in front of that opening and you're in the isolation zone, that tissue should be blowing in towards you. And not blowing virus particles to other areas of the house. What we've got here is something that most people on their own can take measures to at least improve um, keeping others safe in the house. The portable exhaust fan the team used for their study was bought online for $30. Researchers say the isolation room is best used in a detached single family home. In an apartment or multifamily building, the negative pressure that's created could end up drawing in air from adjacent units. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.